Hi everyone, today we are um, going to talk about how to unfry your brain. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, why this uh, topic came up is pretty interesting. Lately, I've been working a lot. My life schedule has been crazy literally crazy okay so i started i wake up around seven um and i you know actually i exercise for like 15 minutes shockingly I, you know i do like yoga um sometimes i you know do those like youtube workout channels it was actually help i get i get really like sweaty and like it's kind of disgusting um i take like a 15 minute shower so like by 7 30 i'm you know done with my shower I put on makeup for one hour. Sorry guys. Um, so I'm like 8.30. And sometimes I get really hungry. Cause okay, so here's the thing with my schedule is that I have to eat in the morning so that I could do other stuff. Well, okay, maybe one hour is kind of scam, but today it took me like around one hour. Uh sometimes it takes me like 30 minutes to an hour. Um but yeah, makeup's usually that long. And then I eat and work at the same time. Very unhealthy. Very unhealthy. Do not do this. If you ever do this, it's just stop and like just eat. <laughs> but uh, since I don't have much time, I have to do that. Um, so for those who don't know who I am, by the way, uh, I'm a YouTube content creator. <laughs> I also am a streamer on Twitch. I also do, I also take like jobs of marketing, like global marketing. So I guess I kind of do like global marketing consultant, which is shocking because I didn't really do like a lot of marketing jobs, but I do this, I'm doing this right now, consultant. I also do like just kind of researching for foreign market swear to god if you speak english what they think of you is research <laughs> they keep giving me stuff to research but i'm also doing some research um for another company so these two are kind of like quote unquote side job but i'm actually helping out with this because it's family business you know when you are the only child who has studied in the u.s this is your main job for the rest of your life um and the fact that i'm also doing this like youtube and streaming business they are like giving me all the marketing because i know quote unquote the recent trend but i don't i am doing tiktok but it is killing me i hate it <laughs> another thing that i am doing is yes i am a ceo um, why I'm a CEO is not only do I like have that title on my Twitch stream, but I also am planning to develop an app with my viewers. Um, and hopefully we will be able to um, sell or actually make money off of this um, so that later on I can actually pay for my viewers, you know, because they're doing free labor. I'm sorry, guys, but... <laughs> they usually pay me i don't pay them but i want one day what i really wish to do is pay my viewers for their decent work so that it will actually become a nice business so i have one two three four five jobs so, and then youtube content creator is basically i edit my own videos um i'm still i'm highly likely thinking about hiring a editor but it's difficult we are not going to go into this, but I do edit my own stuff. Um, yeah, so I have five jobs. And what's really shocking lately is um, I'm getting married. <laughs> married, da, 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 da. you know, I have this uh, nice gonna be husband or fiance. Um, and uh, actually some of the job down there was uh, his, his job. <laughs> because he was also working um as for a company right so i try to help him out but yeah i'm getting married so uh in korea usually you have the uh, what what is it the marriage consultant 
I don't think that's the uh, name for it, but you know, you have usually have that human being who organizes everything for you. Unfortunately, I couldn't get this because um, my I got a dress. Um, I haven't told specific details to my chat actually, but I my um, my aunt decided to give me a dress. Oh yeah, wedding planner. Thank you. Um, or because I am the first one to get married in my family, so as a little gift, that's what she wanted to do. So I got a dress, but the wedding planner, all the wedding, most of the wedding planner that I talked to, that I got introduced to, kept saying, okay, well, if you got a dress, ah, usually the dress is what I make money off of, so ah, I think it'll be hard. And I'm like, Okay, so I talked to another wedding planner and she's like, okay, well, like, you have to come with a wedding, like, venue. And I'm like, okay, well, like, that's what I need help with. And she's like, yeah, well, nowadays things change, so you have to find the venue first and then you can come talk to me. And I did this and I was like, yeah, but the same thing. Yeah, but if you already have a dress, yeah, we don't really make money off of that. So I'm like, okay, you know, F you. Sorry, this is a podcast. I have to sound elegant, but <laughs> um, um, yeah. So I decided to prepare everything by myself, and you have no clue. It's disgusting. It is so disgusting. Um, there's lots of things that I have to look for, um, like bouquet, which costs like freaking like or four hundred dollars for like a nice looking one. It's crazy. We're just gonna get like the two hundred dollar one. <laughs> Shockingly. But yeah, guys, don't forget I have a dono goal if you guys are interested in um uh, funding for my wedding. It's up there. So yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so I basically have six jobs. And why I went through this is that my life is 24-7 working life. I have no time. I am basically killing myself. <laughs> so going back to my schedule yes i do exercise because like i said i have a wedding to uh, attend shockingly so i have to look fit um and as you guys know korean standard fit is very different right now i am considered a little chubby um i think i'm like 55 kilograms and uh 60 164 centimeter and i'm considered chubby so i plan on exercising which is interesting <laughs> but yeah i have to eat and work at the same time and then normally i start stream around 9 a.m i i stream or usually lately it's been till 1 or 2 a.m uh, 2 p.m sorry 2 p.m um because i've been being very productive on stream which is great yeah it's amazing so um that's what like 9 10 11 12 1 so four to five hours stream Four to five hour. And maybe some of you guys might say, Oh, Jimmy, I think it's kind of short. Why are you only stream that, that little time? But uh, when you're just a just chatting streamer, four to five hours is way too much. <laughs> Anyways, going on. So I'm done around two. I actually eat from like 2.30. Shockingly, guys, I need 30 minutes of recovery time. And recovery time is just me being peaceful, not talking, and enjoying the silence in my room. Because I'm just talking to myself, like, for four hours, it does give me, like, a headache. But, yeah, I give myself a little break. So, 30-minute break. And then from 2.30 to uh, 3.30, I eat. Um, the reason why it takes one hour is I actually cook my own food. Um, and uh, uh, because, you know, things are getting expensive in Korea. But, yeah, it's not fun. Yeah. This is why my cousin and Lope, they were stressed so much, they just got the marriage out of the way. Oh, nice. What if you rebrand the wedding to chubby wedding? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so anyways, um, my weight goal, I haven't decided, but maybe like 50 kilograms. We'll see how that goes. It's been stressful. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, that's what my lunch time is. From 3.30 maybe to like 5 six seven i edit <laughs> i edit or i do the research job or um etc and then from six to seven um mia usually comes home so i eat dinner and then from maybe seven to like 
I don't know, maybe like 9? Usually I haven't played... I do like free time. I have to play game. Like, I need... I need time. I need a break. But lately, this has not been in my schedule. Chita! I haven't... I, all I've been doing on Lost Ark is just logging in. Which is so sad, but I haven't been able to play games. So, if I don't do this, it's 8 to like... 12? I just do more work. <laughs> of uh, If I did edit the early 3 hours, then here I do research. Or I get ready for wedding stuff, wedding planning. Or I do, um, you know, I look up something. Look up. Or sometimes I even have to prep for stream. Wow. And you do this. I don't even have a break on Saturdays and Sundays because it's been holiday season. It's been the new year. So we go inside and say hi to family members. We go and meet up with friends be and be like, hey. I'm getting married, blah blah blah. So I don't even have Saturdays and Sundays, so I haven't been actually resting. Um, and where I felt like ah oh, I haven't been resting is my Lost Ark buddies have been DMing me saying, Where have you been? So uh why I went through my long schedule is that if I do this 24-7, well it's kind of 24-7, right? Um I do go I try to go to sleep at 12, but sometimes it goes late. But if I do this for one month it's been almost one month because i announced my wedding and everything last time last month <laughs> your brain just becomes dead and what it means to have a dead brain is that you can't function function is not in your dictionary at this point you basically just work like a dead human being <laughs> and i am emphasizing the word dead because i have no thought and recently what i felt is why i understand why my chat enjoys sometimes my chat comes to my stream and they're like i enjoy brainless content i'm like what does that mean don't you want to learn like 24 7 Yes, I do not want to learn. Uh, usually, I like to watch like educational YouTube videos. Um, like, why the market is crashing? Why market is crashing? Or uh, there was something about like real estate, how to be a good real estate, blah, 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 right? And lately, I've just been enjoying like... Ah, XYZ cheated. What should you do? Or this boy wanted to date two girls at the same time such a good brainless content it is amazing like you just watch that and you have nothing going on in your brain it feels so nice um so anyways uh yeah so then you start thinking to yourself ah oh, what should i do you know this is not healthy so if you guys are doing this it's not healthy this is why ceo have like three coaches yeah i totally understand or like three um secretaries i i yeah totally but but for those who are doing this at your work, please stop. Literally just stop. Drop down your pen, pencil, and like look back. <laughs> look back and see what you're doing. Um, because for me, I don't think this is healthy. I've been getting what's been happening to me is first of all, my face um has been awful. I don't know. Your pen, not your pants. Your pen. <laughs> but my skincare, obviously Koreans are known to have nice skin. Um, my skin is ugly. I've been getting lots of um, pimples and everything. <clears throat> and uh, I've been really stressed. I've been, I've never felt like I've said this a lot, but I've been saying, I'm so stressed. <laughs> So many times lately, I'm stressed or I'm tired was my common word. So, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a content creator. I should be creating fun videos for you guys. But if I'm stressed and I'm tired, the tension drops so much and it's really unfortunate. So, um, you have lots of bad outcomes and you end up like fighting with your friends or, you know, you get furious about useless things or something that you'll never get furious about. 
Like, normally, I'm okay with chat kind of trolling. They're adorable. Sometimes they come and say, say kind of rude things. I'm okay. It's okay. Maybe you had a bad day. But recently, when someone says that, I have to be like, okay, excuse me, sir. Why are you saying this to me? Do you think that's going to make me feel better? Yeah. Um, I'm very stressed. <laughs> so then you kind of have to be thinking to yourself, okay, well, like, I can't live like this forever. I know I am workaholic. My friends used to call me workaholic, but this is not safe for my body. Um, and I am almost, I am almost 30, right? Um, of course, 30 isn't the magical age of getting old, but you should not be like this. Um, if I do this for, um, for the rest of my life, I think by by 50, I'll be like in a wheelchair or something with like a dead brain being like, hi guys. So a couple of things I think you should do to unfry your brain. Very important, guys. Unfry, which if I can spell is, I don't know, just meditate. And I realize this is like the key. Um, I've talked to a lot of streamers also about this, and this is like the hardest thing. If you can't, if you can't literally just like stop what you're thinking and like, or sorry, if you can stop what you're thinking, that's really great. But for me, if I try to do this, that in my brain, you know what happens inside my brain? I'm like, okay, well, I had to do this. I had to do that. And I have to do this now. And then there's also like a bunch of things. So like, oh yeah, I have to research A, but then, oh, and then I forgot about my wedding. I have to look out for my, like, wedding pictures. Well, like, where am I going to get, where, who am I going to ask for wedding pictures? Or like, where am I going to get the bouquet? And then later I'm like, oh, fudge, I have to be, like, studying for my stock stream, you know? Like, I can't just go there. Or like, oh my god, what podcast should I talk about this time? Yeah, it does. <laughs> this keeps, like, rotating my brain. So if I can just stop and meditate, that's the best. So lots of people actually recommend going to a nice cafe and like looking outside the window. Um, but yeah, that's something that you really have to do to unfry your brain or else it just gets worse. Now, another thing that people recommended me to do is. Wait, what did they recommend me? Oh, fudge, I had this ready. I just had it in my brain, and this is what happens, guys. You just have it in your brain, and you just forget about it. If you're so busy, and you have lots of things to talk about. Um, so it was meditate, and then... <clears throat> they actually advise you to spend some time outside. You know, feel the grass, feel the green, feel the green. And maybe you do a lot of outdoor activity or something, but... You just need to sit outside in the grass and be like, this is a nice weather. I am not going to work today, you know, and like <clears throat> learn how to do that. Touch grass, feel the grass. Same thing. Just kidding. OK, Um. but anyways. And I find this very important because, guys, lately I haven't gone outside because I have to be in front of my computer 24 seven. Like all the job that I have I'm doing right now requires me being in front of the computer. Now, some might actually say, hey, Jinri, actually, my job is going around places. So I don't want to do that. Then just do the opposite. Ah, you go outside too much, then just stay home. And be inside your bed. Don't go outside of your bed. Because it feels great. Wow. Like, sometimes I just drop my work. I say I'm not going to do anything. And I get inside my bed. Oh, before I get inside my bed, I prepare um, water. I prepare snack, like a couple of fruits, especially tangerine at this time is delicious in Korea. I just go in my bed and I don't leave. And I just throw away the trash on the floor because I'm going to pick it up later. But like, I'm like, okay, just imagine everything around me, around the bed is a lava if i you know obviously if you fall you'd be burning to death right so i just have to be safe in my bed and i just you know i call sometimes me i'm like i'm in bed <laughs> oh no i'm just in bed the whole day if i just can't rest i just be in bed the whole day maybe i'll like go out to eat like lunch in my um living room yeah but then i just go back to bed and you guys might be like, that's such a bad thing to do. You need to go outside. 
Well, if your job requires you to be outside, for example, I had a day where I had to meet people every night. Monday, I had a meeting. Tuesday, I had to go see a friend. Wednesday, I had to do family member stuff. Thursday, I went to go to another meeting. Then Friday, I'm just like, okay, no stream. <laughs> Not going to go outside. Going outside is the laziest thing. I don't want to kill myself. I just in bed. <laughs> and if you're working this hard, it's okay. You could be in, you could be a couch potato for a day. Like it won't cause any harm. So um, I do I do advise you to do something that's opposite of your job. And yeah, if you actually have the money and time, definitely spend that money. You know what feels the best is spending money. And I see from Chad, you guys are like, you know, you need a spa day. Yeah, spas are expensive, but spend it. You're earning. You're frying your brain to earn money so you need to unfry by spending it <laughs> this does not mean go yolo and start buying all the fancy cars out there being like okay you know what jenry told me to buy a lamborghini i'm gonna go buy a lamborghini no 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 go outside have a nice date go nice go to a nice restaurant for one day be like you know this is something that i'm treating for myself it feels great <laughs> it really feels great no don't go buy it like gucci bag but you know spend a little it's okay if you're if you're working this hard it's okay because then your brain is like oh i earned this much you know i spent myself like trying to fry my brain and i earned this much this is great well like you know now i'm gonna um spend it for my yeah you know i'm gonna use that money that i fried um and then like spend it for myself so i think this is like my top three <laughs> so if you guys have any other things yeah even buying ice cream guys ice cream costs what like seven dollars if you got like the fancy how much are ice creams these days well i think like sometimes the dairy products uh price has increased right so maybe like ten dollars but yeah spend ice cream usually what i like to spend money on is clothes um and i know you guys are gonna like make fun of me but i actually like spending money on games so you know i told you guys my uh, hobby is lost ark i love spending money there holy cow it makes me feel good like my characters if they dress up so nicely oh yeah that's that's the key so <clears throat> hopefully if you feel like you are so tired like you are so sick of like working or you keep consistently saying i'm tired or i'm stressed or you just sometimes yell out to yourself try doing these things and if you can't do these things just going to a quiet area by yourself and like yelling feels really good sometimes you know i'm always like in my room being like oh it feels very nice <laughs> sometimes sighing is a very he uh, healthy for your body so just sigh really big if you um don't even have time to do any of these maybe you are having a very very big conference coming up and you really don't have time just go to the corner and just sigh um will help you out definitely and um these are some tricks and tips that i've done a lot when i was stressed because i am one of those people who likes working hard and um it's it's a good thing and a bad thing there's always good positives and negative traits about this but i realized that i need to do these three to keep my brains like alive so oh you break boards oh that's interesting what else what else do my chat do why do you work hard it's just my personal it's just my personality i if i don't work this hard i feel really depressed that i feel like a loser in my life <laughs> and i want to achieve something and i have lots of i'm yeah i have lots of dreams so that's why to achieve these dreams you just can't be sitting in the couch being like yeah 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 it's all gonna work out no you just have to really work hard and i think it always pays off you know like maybe in terms of value yeah my stream isn't like super popular but you know someone's gonna notice one day and they're gonna be like yeah she worked hard she worked hard and then i'm gonna feel really happy about it and 
that feeling of achieving something is always the best feeling for me so that's why i work hard because i love that feeling like yeah but i i am a little harsh on myself so i try not to do that but definitely try doing these three um and i know work-life balance is very important and i actually suck at doing work-life balance so to this is the only way i say to myself ah this is close of doing work-life balance but yeah i don't really have like a quote-unquote break time other than when i play lost ark so yeah kickboxing yeah exercising people do say exercise but sometimes you don't even have the energy to exercise and they're always like well you have to like exercise to get that energy but some, they don't understand me sometimes so that i'm like okay just do these do these three first and then once you feel like you have the energy because there are lots of people who actually lose energy from working and to regain their energy they just need to be like maybe home alone or do other things so if you actually gain energy a lot of energy through exercising then go for it but um i guess this is for those who can't who loses more energy by exercising because when you start exercising you start you know like it's painful so <laughs> sometimes just how you are whatever you do you want to do the best you can yeah that's also me too so yeah so lately i've been exercising um and my thighs been killing me and maybe that's why I'm more my body has been more in pain because i have been really busy and i'm trying to exercise for myself so it's been like okay well like not only is my brain dead but like my body's dead so everything's dead lately so um but hopefully these could help out you lose energy watching twitch then i highly advise you not to watch and Oh, thank you, Koa, for the 10,000 won. <laughs> Koa. Thank you so much. Yoshimi, hey, why thing? So, that is all for how to unfry your brain. Uh, if you guys have any other question, feel free to ask. Um, but, yeah, this is my life. And I know there's lots of people who work harder than me. And you guys might be like, Jinri, that's not even working hard. Totally fine. But for me, I feel very overloaded. So, um this these are a couple of things that i try to do especially like when you work in a startup company or like a small size company it's really really hard to have time for yourself especially if you're like getting if you're in the higher position you just end up like being really tired so i highly highly advise people i mean you guys probably know the best for yourself but i hope just by listening to this it will feel you might be motivated to work less <laughs> guys your life is short enjoy the time <laughs> and really enjoy the time especially if you're young and you always feel young so that's all for my uh podcast for today um on on fried brain and hope you guys will enjoy the next one um i'm not sure what the topic is and that's gonna be another stress for me i'm thinking but it's positive stress we're okay so thanks for watching and see you guys on the next one bye guys